of our flag retirement ceremony here on Veterans Day to uh, pay tribute to our student veterans here on campus, um, our faculty and staff who have served, those who are currently serving as well. This flag has served this nation long and well. It has worn to a condition to which it should no longer be used to represent the nation. This flag represents all of the flags collected and is being retired from service today. We honor them all as we salute one flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here is the meaning of each of these folds. The first fold of our flag is a symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veterans departing our ranks who gave a portion of their lives for the defense of our country to attain, as you were, to attain peace throughout the world. The fourth fold represents our weaker nature, for as American citizens trusting, it is to him we turn in times of peace as well as in time of war for his divine guidance. tribute to our country, for in the words of Stefan Decatur, our country, in dealing with other countries, may she always be right, but it is still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is for where our hearts lie. It is with our heart that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces, for it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all her enemies, whether they be found within or without the boundaries of our republic. The eighth fold is a tribute to the one who entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day and to honor mother for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood, for it has been through their faith, their love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great have been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to the father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold, in the eyes of a Hebrew citizen, represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon and glorifies in their eyes the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold in the eyes of a Christian citizen represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies in their eyes God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 